Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you how to troubleshoot creating a Windows 10 boot drive. Uh, a few days ago we had made a video on how to create a Windows 10 boot drive so that you could install uh, Windows 10 on a new PC and the link to that video will be in the description of this video. Now one thing that I found is as I was making that video is it didn't go smoothly for me um, and I needed to make some configuration adjustments on my system uh, to get around this error that kept popping up that Windows kept showing me. And so after researching the forums online um, trying a few different troubleshooting methods I finally found a solution that worked for me and hopefully it will work for you too. So without further ado let's jump in and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that the thumb drive you are going to be using is plugged into your computer and that there aren't any important files on it. Um, once you have your thumb drive plugged in we're going to go to File Explorer and let's find our thumb drive and we are going to format it in the NTFS uh, file system format. So to do that we just right click the drive, come up here to format, select the file system NTFS and go ahead and click start. Now it's going to warn us that formatting will erase all data that we put on the drive so like I said make sure there's nothing important on that thumb drive and once it's ready to go click OK. It will erase everything on the drive and format it as an NTFS drive and we will be ready to go. Now the next thing that we're going to do is come down here into our search bar and type in run and then we are going to type in services.msc and hit enter. And this is going to open our services page here. Um, there are some services that Windows uses to create that boot drive that need to be running. And if they aren't, then it will throw up that error. So um, we're going to go ahead and activate the necessary services to create that boot drive. Everything in this list is obviously in alphabetical order, so we're going to start by scrolling down to Windows Update and keep scrolling. There we go. Double click. Now, we want to make sure that the service sat status here says running. If it is stopped, make sure that you click that start button and have that going. And for startup type, we want it to say automatic. Then we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to scroll up to Background Intelligent Transfer Service. And we're going to do the same thing. Make sure that it's running. And make sure that the startup type is set to automatic. And click OK. Next, we're going to scroll down to Server double click, make sure that it's running, startup type automatic, click OK, down to workstation, make sure that it's running, automatic, OK, up to TCP IP net BIOS helper, running, automatic, OK, Ike and auth IPsec keying modules, now that's a mouthful. Uh, up in the eyes. Right there. Double click. Running automatic. OK. Now, once we have all those services started and running and the startup type set to automatic, we can go ahead and close the services page. Now, finally, some people have had better luck by downloading the Microsoft Windows 10 installation media tool and then moving that into the thumb drive folder, uh, running it from the thumb drive essentially. So we are going to go back to uh, the Microsoft page and the link to this page will again be in the description of the video. We're going to create, download the tool 
and then we're going to click show in folder we're going to cut from our downloads folder or wherever it had downloaded to and select our thumb drive and then we're going to paste it into our thumb drive so now we have the media creation tool in our um, thumb drive or USB drive and we should be ready to reinitialize the tool so we can double click there it's going to ask us if we want this to make changes we can select yes and from here on out we follow the steps uh, just like we did in the original tutorial video so if you've already seen these steps and know what to do you can go ahead and skip ahead otherwise we will show you step by step how to walk through this process so uh, the first screen that we will see is the terms and conditions you can go ahead and accept those and then it should take maybe another 30 seconds or so to get a few things ready the next screen that it brings up asks us what we want to do and we are going to create an installation media select next again it asks us our language we're going to leave it in English uh, edition Windows 10 and then our system architecture we have the option of 32-bit and 64-bit unless you know you need 32-bit or your computer was built uh, a few years ago and is quite old I would go ahead and select 64-bit and then click next we want to install this on a USB flash drive and next and now we will select our uh, USB thumb drive from the list of available drives in my case it's the E drive um, you may have a different letter but go ahead and select your thumb drive and click next and now here Windows will run us through uh, the system what I've seen is that it typically runs through two progress bars one where it downloads and another where it processes and, and verifies the files so for the sake of your sanity we will go ahead and fast forward through this success so you can see it got us through uh, the entire process and it says that our USB drive is ready uh, shows us our drive so we can go ahead and click finish and now if we come down here to our boot drive you can see that the installation or the creation tool that we had put on there has been removed and that the necessary files are put on there so we have a fully functional Windows 10 uh, boot drive that we can use to install on a computer
All right, guys, so hopefully that helps. Like I say, if it doesn't, feel free to leave a comment. I would love to see what I can do to help. Um, and check the description of this video. We will be posting an alternate method here in the next couple days uh, that uses a program called Rufus instead of the data creation tool. And uh, that should hopefully f help solve some problems. So thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and have a great day.